I was, left? I was, I think, I think it missed the Hi. How you doing? Good. Uh, we're looking for the computer cases. Uh, yep, they're going to be on the uh, back wall in the corner. I can kind of show you my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. It's my first time here. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Um, so those are all the displays that we have. And yep. then there's oh, a wow. couple of different like color variants or size variants. They'll have the tags um, awesome. accordingly. If you have any questions, I'll be right back. I'm just put this behind. All right. Thank you. Are you guys trying to make a new build, or are you just trying to transplant into a new case? Yeah, so I'm looking for like, yeah, <laughs> a new whole build. I'm um, trying to get like a full tower case, and um, you know, I just want to like physically see the case. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay, so you're just kind of here window shopping right now. Yeah. Right? Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to buy anything from us, let me know, and I'll, I can open cases for you, or I can go get the boxes in the back for you. Awesome. Cases meaning like the uh, if you need a CPU or motherboard and stuff like that got it um but yeah so i'll be over there just let me know if you need anything all right sounds good thank you i couldn't see your parts i uh, couldn't see your parts yeah I, I thought it was public but here let me let me send you this it's one private, yeah. got it it's a full tower i wonder if they identify it or it would be pretty how, obvious how big you're looking for the million tower like you're not going max out like these right max out yeah like a full tower size really? yeah like the one i have at home is is a nine inch tall, nine inch tall here. So Husky, we're gonna try to get the 4080 graphics card and take care of Fushmaster. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, yeah. No, go 4090. 40, dude, that's, do you know how significantly expensive that is? That's $400 more expensive. Yeah. For me, I tried to try for my stuff over here. Just be smaller. Hmm. How, yeah. like, what's the server for? Like, I don't know. A server, I'm gonna build off a Raspberry Pi. Like, it's, it's a small one. But these, I'm just looking for that. To try for my stuff over because I have a mid tower, yeah. But I build my PC, I want to do something small. I bought a mini ITX, but in a mini a mid tower, got so it. It's better. I'll try for everything over here. Very nice. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> so go all out. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go all out. We're gonna go all out, Dude, but like I feel like performance wise from a 4080 to a 4090 is like not that much. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I'm, Unless I'm trying to save you time when you build your video and stuff. Like the, the faster the better. Like it's right. an investment, right? Yeah. And if you ha you have monetized money coming out, it technically called tax free. Yeah. You can collect those and stuff for your tax. Really? Oh, because yeah, it's like it's for like it's that. for business. Okay, oh, that makes sense. For business. Oh yeah, you can go to claim those at the business. Claim mm. this for your Twitch channel. Indeed. Yeah. Sweet. All right, I gotta. So the ones I need to look for, this is. Yeah. I like the ones where they have the ports at the top, because I put everything on top, even though it blocks the vents. I've seen ones where they put it on the bottom. I think I saw one here, like this. I wouldn't be able to. Do... Are you care about RGB? Not much. Um, I I think I'm on the list. Like two of them were RGB. But so, like, so it had just happened to have RGB. It's not like you decided to have RGB. Correct. Yeah. Uh, is this a full build? Yeah, it's a full build. What's the budget? It's uh, a yeah. it from looks. It's <laughs> yeah. It's like the numbers after tax will probably be like three point five or something. It's it's really high, and oh, okay. majority. Well, that's the, fine. You can go with this. Yeah, I, I, it's not a the just full full tower, but you can build mm -hmm. everything you need in there. That's one. I, I just hope, because I'm planning to use liquid cooling, and I just hope oh, that it's not too... Huh? Oh, you can do liquid cooling. I just don't want it to be too cramped, you know what I mean? Like, Especially with the motherboard. No, the motherboard should be fine. The one you can be concerned about is your graphic card. But yeah. you, you try to fit four bill water tower, because you, your graphic card will be heavy custom card that have a custom block for your... For your if you want to go that route. Wait, what, what do you mean? Like? Uh, let's, let's go to that part. They, they do that. Yeah, I could stay here for hours. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this one. This is the one you're looking for. Oh, shoot. So, you see the, this rock? This rock. The whole graphic card is water cooled, so you gonna get this right. <laughs> but it doesn't. Ha it does not have to be right. Like only. What if I only want it for the CPU? Yeah, it doesn't have to be. But 
you have what, life, what, then you better find it. What's the point? Then just build an AI all to, to, to the fan, that's it. Real quick, you guys, this was your first time here, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. On this side, we have a keyboard with different uh, switches, every two keys. Yeah. So you can, like, that's really big here. Mm-hmm. People custom building their keyboards. Right. That was something I haven't seen other places, so I thought... Uh, well, maybe let you guys know about that. Yeah. It's right. cool. It's cool. I, I look sweet. at the sum. I look at some of the people who build these. I'm like, yeah, I love this. Yeah, they're pretty in- intense. But like, you can try every single switch on that side. Oh, and this one. Yeah. Oh wow. I and saw. If you like try picking this chassis up, you could feel it is. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, it's all metal. Wow. It's crazy what people do. But this is an enthusiast thing as well. That's cool. Oh, it's so heavy. Uh, Rose, I think this is the keyboard for you. Yes. No employees here. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I do a lot of they have. They're really internal. Yeah. I didn't know they can be that heavy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I have aluminum on my keyboard, but it's like aluminum top plate like this. Yeah. I, I didn't even notice underneath it's all plastic. So oh, wow. Those things are solid metal. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Would you go for this, Marcus? Like, it's so heavy. Uh, not my type of. Uh, I like the cheap, uh, cheap computer. Oh, you're not, you're not into it right now. Oh, I feel so good when I have my keyboard. I have a cheap mechanical keyboard, but I like cheap because I just uh, once in a while just like the other If it's, you know, like I'm not gonna. No, you can be you want to you can try to feel the sound stuff. Yeah, I'm familiar with stuff like that, and I think the idea was to ensure that you were told to make sure you're doing that. That's cool. Wow. So this is Sapphire Heart. Okay, this might be a more complex build because I was looking towards liquid cooling. You can see the CPU is in there with the liquid cooling up. So I think that's the coolant for the CPU, the which we call the water cooler. So I think that would go up there, but this one would use a different set of fans, I think. If, it's so interesting. These keyboards are really good too. Yeah, I I tried two or three of them. Then Oh they have car they have car mount holders here too. Or phone mount holders. Yeah. Do you, bro, that's it. This is what I was looking for. This is the exact card I needed. Now it's just a matter of which company. It's a 4080 that I want. Yeah, it makes sense to go with that. Holy cow. Is that the one you have? That? No, it's not a Razer. It's the HyperX Cloud 2. Somewhere, it's probably on that side. The G502 mouse? Somewhere. Oh, it's heads, headsets. <clears throat> Which one were you looking for? 480 or? Yeah, general 480. Okay. Yeah, I wanted the original like NVIDIA one, but I guess they have the you know the other ones from the other companies, mm-hmm. which I, it doesn't matter too much to me. Some have better cooling than other. Yeah. So that's cool. They got everything here. Which headset is the best? Um, I've never used anything besides like Logitech, so oh, okay. and HyperX Cloud. Hmm. I think the, the Logitech ones are good. Yeah. Yeah, they had a G four G four Dang, so it ends on seven eleven. Hmm? This one. The sale? The sale. Oh, 
I gonna buy it? Would like to. Yeah. Forty eighty. Which one? That's cool. Yeah, Fushmaster, thanks for being here. See you around. A cooling system. We have both on the top and the bottom. Are you looking for anything else? No, every time my mother in law Cool. Look at the cases. This this place has everything you can imagine. This is amazing. This is the one I need too. Five hundred sixty-nine. Hey, Missouri, where's Plato? Good question. We're looking for PC parts here. And they have motherboards here? Wait, this is a motherboard, I think. It is. Holy cow. I think they have everything I need here. They have, this is the one I want to get, the 13, 13900 i9. But I'm here, here for mainly for the cases. The case, I can't do this one because this would have to be on top of my table and I, I don't put it on the top of my table, I put it on the ground. So the cable, the ports are just, it would not work. I need something on the top. So something like this, the power button, I don't know if y'all can see this, Missouri. So the, this is the power button, got two USB ports here and a USB-C. USB-C is a plus, but I need as many USB ports as possible. But basically this is, what I typically need. Two USB 3.0s here. And a USB, is that a USB-C? No, it's not. Type-C, two of these. I could, I could make, ooh. This looks pretty cool. It's a glass on the side. This looks like a mid tower. Fractal meshify slots. My only concern is I'm pretty sure it can fit. Like this looks like a mid tower. 21 by 9 by 18. Actually, this might be a full tower. Hmm. This, this is a, that's a, this is good. Cause you can see it has a, a type C and four USBs here. And it's a very straightforward um, top surface here where I can put all my stuff like, you know, USB sticks and all that. And I could charge whatever I need to put extra cables up here. So I think that's really good. It's it's a clean, like rectangle. I mean, I like simple, and I like the glass at the side, so I can kind of show the RGB if I decide to get it. Yeah, how much is this? Solid panel, dark temper, light temper. Okay, so it's around. I don't want a solid panel. I want a, I want glass. So this is probably, I'll probably take a light. So that's like a, a $200 case. So that's cool. This is, this is pretty good too. So the power, it's a very small power button right here. Two of this type C, but how do you open one of these? Like, do I just peel this out? This is pretty nice too, the fractals. 
So you got two USBs Type-C here, everything's in the center, but it, you don't really get that much side space and it kind of curves on the top. I need something completely rectangle. Yeah. Fractal Meshify. It's pretty cool. I think, let me, I'm gonna take a picture. Or, yeah, so dimensions of this is, let me actually take a photo of that. <clears throat> oh, Trier is having a good time here. Take some photos of some of these. This one's nice too. Yeah. Right here. Case? I'm leaning towards like, wait, this XL? Really? Oh, no, 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 not, not this one. I think this one is fine. Yeah. It's, yeah, I really like this one because I, cause I already used four ports on the top for these and he also has a USB-C because I know that's the future mm -hmm. and it's very simple. Quick press of the button, I can put all my cables on top of this. These are outdated. Really? No, no one really use them anymore, but yeah. I do. <laughs> all my cables require that for charging. Oh, so. my, my still does, but I'm not, I'm trying to, to like... Oh, you're trying to get future or something? I'm trying to get rid of them somehow, yeah. Oh. Oh. What's on the top of these? Oh, yeah, it's the car sandwich. Do you, do you look at this? I did not. This is... Oh. Do you, this is... Similar. Wait, you saw... Oh, the reason I showed you the case... Cool, because it's... No, no, the, the, the build over there. Yeah. So you build over there is that the full build of what you actually want, the full thing. Yeah. But otherwise, you can get an uh, all-in-one for your CPU. That's it. Hmm. And then you just get uh, plug the GP. graphic card in, that's it. Yeah, that, that, that was what I was planning to do. I didn't know they also had the whole liquid cooling for the, Ooh, they, they the have GPU. Oh, yeah. Because so if you want to build a block yeah. and the whole thing, might as well go full. Go full. Right. Just don't build CPU alone because that doesn't, it's not work. Mm -hmm. Sweet. And you know, it's when you do the whole thing, you have to buy tools yeah. to work on the uh, tubes and stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I have never done it, but I want to, but I have the money. You have the money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't work yet, so. You know I don't work right now. I know, yeah. But you got, you got the stash. <laughs> I, 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 I have free time to work uh, on the skills. Got it. These are so nice. You've been to these stores before, right? Oh yeah, I went to the one uh, on uh, Sunnyvale. Okay. It, also, it was close to my workplace, and now they have an hour break, so mm -hmm. an hour lunch, so I'm like, I go there and sit down and lunch. I, this is so cool, because they have like, they have the 40, 80 graphics cards on the other side. Right. Is it, is it marked up? It's, I think it's standard price. Uh, uh, look, man, look online. Mm. You do this, and you do CD for whatever we have events, and then you uh, put a cover special on for, for like for everyone in the Wait, so what, what is collection it? for collection? Well, what is this though? Like, so you know CD writers, you, you can write your movie into a uh, CD, a Blu-ray, and you need these. Oh wow! Yeah, so you put your CD in here, and you write the, the whole movie on it, and then. You cover the CD and just specially somehow. Oh, to make it like presentable? Yeah, and make it like, oh, special edition or something. That's so cool. Have bloopers song or something only. Got it. Really what? Huh? Holy cow, they got backpacks and laptop yeah. cases. Pick it out your case so we can get to the other side. Oh, <laughs> give me a sec. Uh. Hey, Dave, it's good to see you. Use the best computer on the planet, your brain. <laughs> good to see you, Dave. Yeah. We just got here, so we're trying to get a case. So I'm leaning towards one of these. This one. Oh, is this a mid tower? 
No. Didn't you get that? You should get one of the AIO. Hmm. Okay. So I do not recommend these. No, you don't? No air. Oh. Yeah, that's Actually, that's my concern, I think. Well, this one looks... Well, most of them are like that, so... Depend on which one design better. So this one, right? Yeah. They have air on the front. This is mesh on the front. So yeah. Air in. Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry. Same, same with this. Yeah. Right? Because my case, uh, I have from NTSK too. They're like a, a whole plastic on the front, and they have, they have a little hole. Right. On top, on top and bottom. That's it for air to come up and down. But okay. it's not gonna come in. in the, Actually, yeah. now that you mention it, this might not work too well because of the... Yeah, the seal up top, the seal here. Ooh, yeah, that's not good. Well, these for big deal, these for people who do water cool. So yeah. They, don't, they do need air, but not as much. Hmm. This one... Oh, yeah, this one works. Pop air. Mid tower for water, but for water cooling, would it fit? Just for a CPU? Yes. Mine's smaller. You're smaller? Mine's <laughs> a little bit smaller. But do you know how to pop these out? Because this is Type C, but how do you access that? Hmm? How do you access that port? Uh, there's probably an instruction on it. Oh, they could, from the inside, just pop it out? Maybe. I'll pop it open right now. Mm. Hey, it, I'm leaning, so I was about to get this one, but. I totally forgot I need more vents. Oh, okay. So like something like this. Look at this, this have vents on the side. Vents on the side? Yeah, it's not the most oh, optimal way to do it. I have this case with like the five versions. Usually you can uh, open the front panel, show more fan. Yep. Oh! Just leave it open. Yeah, and you can also remove the door if you want to. But you know, probably good enough. Oh, shoot. And you can place, uh, I think, I'm not sure, like the one, the one I have, uh, you can place like big fan, one, 140 uh, millimeters. Yep. Uh, I didn't know it could do that. It could. Holy cow. But you know. Actually, if, if this opens, that works. Well, we, we, if I'm buying something, I would leave it on. No. Yeah. It's yeah. still up for you. It just gets dust get inside. Right? Yeah. That's why you probably don't want to leave it open all the time. Yeah. Okay. I guess with this one. Not, why this one though? Is it more vents? More vents. Oh, there's more vents? And I just, ideally, like, you know, I don't want the door. Uh, Even though the, it doesn't have the, I mean, yeah, they have a but type it's like, C. It's, it's big. Yeah, it's even bigger than my, my current one. Yeah, that's what I was saying about that. It's kind of big. Yeah. <laughs> Unless, is this the... Oh, wait, this is, this is the regular size. Right here, yeah. This is the regular size of it. And... It's probably a bit smaller than mine. Yeah, yeah. Th let me take a picture yeah. of that. But you like don't, you know, it, you, yeah. have enough, you have enough space. Mm -hmm. Yep, and up top too. Yep. Temper glass on the side. Uh, it's one you can see, so that's fine. Check that. Yeah, I think it. Headphones. You can buy an Wait. expansion slot to, uh, to have like more port in the back, it's like $10. Oh, yeah. Those little thingies, like yeah. rectangular, yeah, you're right. For yeah. like $10 you can add uh, four more USB-C port. Got it. Vents, top, bottom, yeah. Are you going to buy today? I might as well. Really? Yeah. I just need to double check because I'm pretty sure everything could fit in here, like a water cooling system with the the CPU and. If you want to buy everything all together to make sure it actually fits. Maybe, yeah. Because I mean, the other parts I could just buy on Amazon, but like the case is the one I need to physically see. How heavy this is. Yeah. Do you know which cooler you're going to pick? Yeah, I don't know if they have it here though. Okay. Yeah. Can you go check? Sweet. Here we go. You Do you, would you get one of those? The aluminum ones? Oh no, I'm going to try and build one. Oh, nice. Probably got to spend a thousand dollars on one. <laughs> Just for a keyboard. Oh, yeah. All right. What are you getting? 
I saw this one. Oh, you got a case? You design a case? Yeah, it's gonna be that the uh, you know the, 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 the yeah the, the black side. Yeah, this is the the one I'm gonna use. So is it a new one? It's 2022. Yeah, let me see here. 13, yeah, the 13900K. Right, and you need a motherboard. Yeah, the motherboard, uh, Asus Gaming Z690 Plus. Uh, hold on. Can you call one of the guy over? Because you pick that case, you make sure you get a fit the right motherboard. Yeah. So, Z what? Where is it? Uh, that one. Z690. Yeah. I don't mind getting a different one. If, for example, if, if that one fits this one, I don't mind. This is a full Wait, that's... Holy cow, it's 1200? Okay, oh. man. You can go with this. That's fine. Z790 R... What is that? RGE? RC? How much, how much is your case? <laughs> this one... That one was like 275. For your what? The motherboard. The motherboard? Hmm. You don't want this. Yeah. No. Actually, um. No. This. You. You go. This. You have to go with a different case because this is small size. Like the one I have at my house. So then you can make pick a different case. Oh, because that's smaller or like. It's really small. Oh. That's the me at the exercise. Right. Actually, because because I gotta go to like Vietnam Town after. I don't want to have all this equipment in my in my car. So I'll just get the case only. And then this, I'll, if I'll look further. You wanted to put in my car. I'll drive it at your house or something. No, when you're done. That's no, fine. It's fine. I just wanted just to like, get it done with. That's yeah. What going with. Just the case, and then the parts I'll probably just get online. But I just wanted to see what kind of stock they have here for all the other parts. Uh, you have to go into the downtown right away. Or what are you doing in the downtown? What? what oh. Doing in the um, I got an order for like Fa Hanoi for dinner for because it's. Uh, Dude, like, the what the heck? <laughs> what I'm just. Z790 Riptide. Is the uh, is the socket gonna work for this? That's why. What? It's 990 Pro. It's a new SE card. Oh yeah, that's the one I was gonna get. Yeah. And that's like the uh, two I, terabyte. I, I gotta stop upgrading oh, that thing every year though. You gotta what? Like every year I upgrade that. That's twice a lot of money. Ah. Uh. That's like last year I bought for the church. Mm-hmm. But then oh, they're like. To, uh, to make. Mm. Then I give it to John, and my, my bro, for some reason. <laughs> and then I, I swap it out. By the time I swap it out, the old one stopped working. Again. Jeez. So I already bought it. So bought it. Let's see. The 980, wait, 990 Pro 2. Wait. That one is oh, once. Uh, so um, over on this side, because I'm trying to use this, I'm trying to use this particular one. Oh, okay, yeah. 13900K. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, and then I had this like on the PC part list, list here, I just chose like some random a ACs gaming. So what's great about uh, them is that they actually do help tell you when things are compatible. Okay. Potential issues or incompatibility. Did you click on it to see what the details said? Yeah, it was saying that... Um, for this processor, like it, it only works with a certain BIOS, and then if it's an outdated BIOS, and I need to upgrade the BIOS. Oh, because it's a 690. I see that because when the 690s came out, that was for the 12th gen, mm -hmm. and they still work with the um, 13th gen, but uh, the boxes will probably say 13th gen ready. Hmm. I know more about AMD, and that's specifically how they do it. Right. I imagine Intel is very similar, or you can just go with the 7900, which is made for that. I understand that a lot of people will go with the 600 series at times because it does save a couple bucks. Um, as a person buying an i9, I'm sure you're not too worried about saving a couple bucks. You're probably more worried about compatibility mm -hmm. and having the most um, optimized experience. But the 7900s were actually built for the i9s. Are you planning on overclocking? No. Okay. Because that's the big difference with the Z790s over like a B760. Um, but it is also, you know, it's the premium. So if you like the premium stuff, mm -hmm. the Z790s are kind of the thing. Um, so this would be I'm trying to see if there was any Z690s that we even carry to, to tell you or show you if it says 
six seven <laughs> six seventy. So the six seventies. Um, I'm wondering if these are AMD. Yeah, that's AMD. So this is just overstock of AMD. Z six ninety. That would be for what you're looking at. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but I recommend go seven ninety do DDR five, right? I'm sorry. Seven ninety do DDR five. Yes. So uh, the six well. ones do as well, but especially the seven nineties because it's like the premium board. Wait, wait, because the, the, the tip slot is different. Yes, they are different. So they have some like that one is specifically DDR four. They'll tell you on them, but other ones. Um, I'd have to open the thing. I got a bunch of stuff in my hand, but we can look real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to show you. Some actually are still D4, and a lot of times they'll put on the side like D4. D4, that shows that they are DDR4, but there are like the same things that are only DDR5 as well. So, the best way to find out is looking up. Oh, and this was an open box. This one is also DDR4, yeah. Because the uh, the 12th gen was the transition period. Yeah. So you can do DDR4 or DDR5, depending on which motherboard you get, of course. Um, this one, DDR5, it's a seven, oh, that's seven series though. Was this one? That's AMD, I don't even know why that's in this case. I'm trying to find, okay, so that's a D7, oh, 760. You have a bundle here too, right? I'm sorry? Oh. A bundle cell? Yes. Nice. So, so if you were to bundle them, I guess so there's a... I would definitely throw this. Got it. So it's the... Yeah. Well, the ball here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go put these back on the counter. I'll be right back and I'll help you guys with everything. Awesome. Thank you. And Z I'm trying to look for a different thing between the K and KF. Mm -hmm. But this is, wait, that's $600 okay. on the board. Now I have all my hands, I can help you guys. Gen Intel CPUs, LG 1700. Yeah, it's more than for hands, it's probably a lot. Yeah, yeah, comparing yeah. prices and stuff. I'm a human still. I know I work here, but I completely understand and agree with you guys. Mm. Let's see. Hey, what's up again? Built the PC. Yeah? How'd it come out? Great. Awesome, Let me man. suck you it. Let your buddy break the motherboard again? I built it myself. Smart. Mm. What have you been playing? Two more questions, huh? What have you been playing? Uh, I mean, I've downloaded a few games. I don't know if this is a 3D thing. Can I ask the guy? Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I think have it's save more buff with this. Oh, you need new monitors. Which one? Uh, Pretty much. This one. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm helping these guys out right now. Uh, but there's I'll, a different one. Uh, I do know a decent amount of monitors. Oh, it's a year different. So it's a year different. So, okay, yeah. Yeah. If you want to start looking, we have them all displayed right here. Screw it. I'll get that one. Now. Wait. Your drone has a cover. So, do you already so, have them on there? Wait, what? Right here? Wait, you're trying to have them on there. It does, but it's, yeah, it's too risky. Yeah. It's fine, I'll, I'll just get the case, but... A lot of what you might end up doing... Yeah, I'll probably... That sweet spot has to be like 300 bucks to get a 1440, 27-inch mm. high refresh, that, like 165. We could do. Yeah. Yeah. Just go get something like this, or if we have that one. Okay. If that was really cool, right? You see this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, these probably have a ex more exposed component than those. Yeah. If you look, if you look at these, you can see the more. Yeah. The, the, the slot is very much covered yeah. and uh, looks very nice. Just your mm. So yeah. Also, it's almost like aesthetics. And you don't care about that. And you know, overclocking. Okay. And, com and you know, more compatibility on different stuff, but you don't really care about it. This? It's all you need. By, by basic standards. When I moved here, I got by basic one of my monitors. And, and like basic gaming? <laughs> if you just gave me the one, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, I'm doing coding right now. I don't really need to do coding. <laughs> Um, but like here, yeah, here, so like for video editing, photo uh, processing, and then obviously gaming, so like nice. this would do. This one right here? Got yeah, it. this 1440, that's a decent price. Let's see here. You can get it under, Jesus, this one's 4K? Ooh, that is 300 bucks. Uh, Wait, might, 300 it might, bucks. might be 60 hertz at that price. It's a, it's a top gaming, so I know it has to be over 120. True, try yeah. checking it out. It's the 9Q1A. It's gonna be on that. I gotta help these guys because. Oh. <laughs> sorry. He cool. came in before and we were geeking oh. out. So. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we're just ha having a good look at this. So, 
Yeah, I guess I'm sounding like a 790, but it's just, uh, just looking at the price tags on this, because I'm trying to do video editing, photo, and gaming, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you're doing. If you have a Z790 and the i9, you'll do it. Hmm. So that, that's pretty awesome, though. Um, you do a lot of video from, like, do you ride a bike? No, it's uh, this is like live streaming, so. Oh, okay. Is yeah. it on right now? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> cool. I thought it was just like uh, riding motorcycles, like liability stuff. Ah. Um, cool, yeah. That you just pretty much choose which one you want. Obviously, some of these like god likes are like insane. Mm -hmm. um, you probably won't need something that crazy. Mm -hmm. That's just really to show off and overclock especially. Yeah. You're probably going to have really good VRMs and, and um, cooling, stuff like that. Mm-hmm not necessarily necessary yeah <laughs> redundant but are you doing a uh, full atx build e a what, atx or uh, atx is like the full-size motherboard so it'll be it'll have like two of the big pci lanes it'll have the little one in between them these are full-size boards it's pretty yes. much like a full-size mm -hmm. board i don't know if i have a diagram anywhere let me show you ATX versus MATX, and then there's ITX after that. Mm -hmm. so here's a nice little picture. So this is turned sideways, but that's a full ATX, which is what you're seeing here mm -hmm. with all those slots. Then you have the micro ATX, which is everything kind of crammed together. Yeah. And then you have the mini ITX, and that's probably not what you want for an i9 if you're trying to push a lot of power. Mm -hmm. Usually people will use that to make a really small build, mm -hmm. uh, and really advanced level builders like to do that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't suggest it if you're just trying to have something that's low maintenance and easy to put together. Right. Um, oh, well, there are <laughs> decent sales on these guys up here that are Z790s. And they are, um, oh, that's DDR4 though. You want, so this one's the DDR5 ver version. That's why it's more expensive. Uh, and it has the Wi-Fi built in. Mm -hmm. If you want, I can get it out and you can look at it. This one right here has more of the aesthetic of like this uh, pro art design. And there's GPUs that are also pro art. Yeah. So like, if you want that look, mm -hmm. it's kind of a cool look, but uh, yeah. Can I share with you like the list I'm trying to get here? Yeah. Like, yeah, because I'm so with that we got the Intel. Um, I'm trying to pair it up with the um, the 4080 graphics, mm -hmm. and then uh, I just looked at one of the full tower cases there. So, and, and I'm trying to do a liquid cooling of this one. Is it AIO? Yeah. Okay, we have that. Okay, cool. We should. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, at this point, it's kind of up to you on what you like. Um, you want. You know what you want. You want DDR5. Mm -hmm. um, I would highly suggest Wi-Fi built-in. With most of most of these have Wi-Fi built-in, mm -hmm. and then it's just price point. I don't want to recommend something that is way over your budget, and I don't want to get you something that's a little too budget friendly when you wanted something a little more robust. Mm -hmm. So um, I can just kind of I can guide you, but you gotta kind of yeah. make that choice. So, so far, uh, tell me here, this is. Recordly fine. Yeah, that would be fine. It's got DDR5, good stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pretty good price point. And it's a full, it's a full size. That's a full point. ATX, yes, sir. Yes, and then if it hits K, the K is going yeah, with too. Sometimes they might have been around the yeah. coolers. Um, yeah, they could different things about it. Like, let me get it out. Mm -hmm. um, that can also sometimes change the price on it. Is how many M.2 slots it has. Uh, you know about M.2s. M.2s are the memories on the yeah, other the side here. The card I have to show you. Oh, but those ones, yeah. Yeah, those things are definitely the move. You don't want to have a bunch of SATA stuff. You can, but yeah. it's typically for older people that already have a lot of memory. Like, SATA's backwards can, you know, work with all that. Wow. But so, you have your Gen 5 slot right there, mm -hmm. and that one's reinforced for heavy graphics cards. Um, you have an M.2 right there with cooling, so that'll support, like, a PCIe 4. I don't know if PCIe 5 is on. I imagine it is. Well, that's for the uh, graphics yeah, card, but the M.2 slot is what I'm. I believe they are. They, all go they are now. They are go together, because the uh, BCIE slot is. It's, I'll talk about all of them. The SD well, card. So like, and that's we use P PCIe lane. Yes, yes, but some of them, like, uh, so I'm not sure about the 790s that I've looked again, but like I know the 760s, they'll have one that will be like a PCIe five and one that's like a four, or one that's a four and one that's a three. 
so that's it is a little weird um on these ones usually both of them will be pcie 5 but even if you look at this one it's advertising this one is pcie 5. Ah, yeah that's that's one 16 the one four and two three yeah there you go so i believe that would so be got, the four yeah it's got the pcie 5.0 by 16 which is this big one yeah the by 16 4.0 is this one right here and then the three is the little guy at the bottom right there and then one m.2 key e for wi-fi if you want to do m.2 uh, wi-fi but uh, yeah, you probably don't right. want to do that yeah. you probably use your m.2 for they used to have on -wall storage right there so it's a pcie 4 for m.2 which is still very very fast yeah I don't have trouble and that kind of cooling that. will be fine for it mm -hmm. um that's just a heat sink on top of it and then this one down here does it even say that one might be only three but then that means you don't need cooling for that's it. probably just the wi -Fi or is that just the wi-fi that's one? the wi-fi card that's why you did sort of wi-fi card right there's the wi-fi one see that's the m.2 wi-fi oh and then that's the actual hyper m.2 oh, there's, there's a second one yeah, yeah. That's second and that might be a 3.0 because there's no heat sink on it but anyways, you that, that's a, expansion. You can You're, yeah, hissing online, but yeah. You could. Yeah. Um, but if it's a 3.0, then you don't even need a heat sink because it won't push that much power through it. It won't get too hot. And they're still ridiculously fast. They're still just under 5,000 megabits re read and write, mm -hmm. which um, a SATA SSD is 550. That's too fast. 3,500 is typically what you're going to see for a, uh, for a PCIe 3. Yeah. And then 5,000 and up is PCIe 4. And PCIe 5, like, they have it now, but it's not really... Nobody's using it. It's ridiculously fast speeds. That, I should know that 990 uh, EVO out. Yeah. Uh, that's probably a Gen 5, but I can't tell the difference you, anyway. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. literally... Um, like, Unless you run the server. Yeah. yeah. If, if you were to kind of think a hard drive to boot up Windows could take, like, 45 seconds to a minute and a half. Uh, SSD takes, like, 30 seconds. An M.2 can boot in in about 14 seconds. Uh -oh. And then if you get a faster M.2, it'll be like 12 seconds. So like you're diminishing returns. You know, as we get closer and closer to the mm -hmm. um, that point, it's only shaving off seconds. But it is percentage-based. Um, but anyways, this is good recommendation. I think this is a good motherboard. So I would agree with your buddy there. Awesome. Um, does it have Wi-Fi built in? That would be my only question. Because it does have a spot for a Wi-Fi card. You have a... You wire at home? Or? I, I use a hard wire. Yeah. Are you going to use a controller mm, to no. play games at all? You need Bluetooth. Because that's Bluetooth. Oh, shoot. If you want to do any Bluetooth stuff, you're going to want um, Wi-Fi built in. Additionally, yeah. you, can, you can buy it after. But you after. can. Yep. You can buy it after. Yeah. That's yeah. that money that you credit. There you go, man. I had one of these fast and it blew up on me. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? Well, good luck with it, man. Take it easy. I guess for, for future stuff, then I'll just... Um, yeah, if I can get a Wi-Fi built in. Wi-Fi built in? Okay. Yeah. So um, that will probably cost a little bit more if we keep looking. Yeah. These ones were $300. Uh -huh. You want to take a look at this guy? Yeah. Oh, I looked at it wrong. Um, and it's pretty much the same breakdown. It's it's hard to keep track of everything about all of these. Mm -hmm. But you got four dim slots. This VRM cooling looks um, pretty, like, serious. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're not going to get very hot. Um, expansion slots. This has Wi-Fi built in. Mm -hmm. It's got M.2 slots. One, two. Does it have four M.2 slots? One, two. Are they double slotted? Unless they're behind it. They're more behind. Oh, that's at the back. Eh? Oh, yeah. One, two, three right there. Uh, two, three, four. If that whole thing this big, you can hold two of them. Oh, yeah. It does say M.2 socket, but where does it Probably fly under. into? Probably under. Maybe. Yeah. Well, this has way more than you would need, but <laughs> it's also on sale, and it's a pretty solid... It just looks even more solid. And, it you know. feels a lot heavier. Yeah. And it's like... <laughs> the, a smaller box. And, you know... It's an ATX, too? Or? Yes. Oh, sweet. It's, yeah. it's nice to look in, mm. even though without, without light. <laughs> yeah. So, so instead of... Yeah, I'm thinking about just buying all the parts today, and then... Yeah, yeah, there's a little, it's it's exciting. Once it gets in your hands and it's real, it's like, oh man, yeah. I don't know. I might have to just cop it right now. <laughs> Sweet. Is there a place where I can just put all this on like, yeah, the side? Yeah, I think it, um, uh, just, well, if well, I, to tell him what case you want, he might have 
back in the counter in the back counter for you. Yeah, oh, yeah I'd have it. to get it from the back. Okay. Uh, so this stuff I we usually do keep behind the counter unless I stay with you and I can get a cart and we can start building everything together. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Does that work? Yeah. Uh, What's the difference between these two? So the KF, KF has no integrated graphics. Which you're gonna use a graphics oh, card, oh, oh. so you don't need it integrated. But if anything happens to the graphics card, mm-hmm. you yeah, want to use that it. Troubleshooting. And then um, Adobe, I think some of their things uses the integrate, like the integrated graphics, uses it to. Uh, it's something. It's so they can do processes faster. I'm not really big with Adobe. I'm not a creation kind of guy. I'm just a gamer. But I know that the integrated graphics gives you a little bit of security in the sense that if your GPU starts to have issues and you have no image. Mm-hmm plug it into the motherboard, if you still have no image, thank goodness it's not the GPU. Right. It's something else, maybe the RAM. Mm-hmm. But um, if you don't have the KF, because sometimes it just isn't posting, you know? But if you don't have, if you have the KF and you plug into the, you have to plug into the uh, GPU, mm-hmm. and when you start up, if you get no picture, what's wrong? Uh, hopefully your motherboard gives you like diagnostic stuff because you can't isolate at that point. Mm. So it's just nice to isolate, troubleshoot, and debug if there's ever issues, which there typically isn't, but more of like the engineering side of people would definitely always want to have the integrated graphics for that extra security right. that they'll never I need, but that. they also want it because it's, they might, you know, you never know. Got it. Let me get a card. The extra, awesome. The extra screen for us too. Because the extra screen. Yeah. Then we have to worry about it. Yeah, you don't need to click the laptop on it. How many RAM you need there? RAM? Uh, 32. So I'm planning to get two 16s. You have four slots. Right. But I'm afraid like, would it, would it get blocked by the CPU and like with the cooling system? Because yeah. that's that's how my current one is. Your, your car is very much top. Your motherboard is very much top of the line. There's no block. They. Come on. Yeah. Do you say your car? Oh, awesome. Here we go. This one won't do great with the case. Uh, I just realized I got this one. I'm talking about him brand too, but uh, tell me which which one you need. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's the case. So. I was thinking this one. Yeah. Okay, I think these two are the same, right? I believe so. They might have white, black, black ATX D. They look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> the top IOs that would be like kind of the giveaway. Um, no, look at this one has. Oh, the USB C. This has a USB C add-in so this is probably a little bit cheaper this one comes with the USB-C so Fractal and a couple other companies are doing this where it's like they make the cutouts so you can upgrade it later uh, uh, why I would suggest just getting it now kind of mm-hmm. like we did with the Wi-Fi thing yeah it's especially if the price isn't too different it's like this might be like the ten dollar one mm-hmm. ten dollars cheaper I mean but these would be 170 versus 160 yeah so um, I'll go find the Meshify 2 With the, looks like we have black. What's ATX D? I think that's the bigger one. Oh wait. Here are the variants. We have black solid panel, black tinted tempered glass, light tempered glass, gray, and then white. So by light, the light tempered, like I would just be able to see straight through, right? Yeah, and tinted, you wouldn't be able to see it as well, which I just went from clear to tinted. When you first get a build, it's cool with the lights. After a while, okay. you just kind of turn them off because they're in the way. Yeah. Tinted does give that little bit of elegance where you can see that the computer's on, but it's also not illuminating the room. Right. Ooh. So. Ah, uh, that would be nice because. I would, if I was mm-hmm. to define it, tinted's a little more mature, <laughs> but if you want to be a little more uh, in your face about it, then yeah. you want a clearer one. Are they the same price or like tinted will be? I believe they're the same price oh, because wow. it's just a different type of glass got it but they're all glass and that's okay glass already might as well go tinted all right let's tint it up <laughs> so you want dark tinted yeah it's a, it's a price right yes i believe so the skew one is dark? Uh, one dark s22 dark uh, wait a minute no, there's a light color so there's a light tint and a dark tint uh dark so i don't color. know how light the light tint is and i don't think that that's the difference between these two because oh. this one like we already identified doesn't have the 3.0 in it so i think that's this guy which would be S2R. Yeah, S2R is not even listed on here. So these ones are referring to these ones. Um, so I'll go grab, we said the dark tint, which is going to be 22R. All right, 
I'll be right back. Yeah, and that's fine. Because I'm looking, I forgot that it's a USB 4. USB 4? What, what, is, USB 4 what does that look like? It's, it's Type-C. It's still Type-C, but it's gigabit fast. Hmm. So this is, just come on, it's still fast, but... Hey, really quick, uh, what GPU were you going with? The 4080. 4080? Okay, I think a 4080 will fit in that pretty okay. This is a slightly narrower case than some of the other ones. Wait, am I looking at that one? Oh, that's one. the compact, that's yeah. why. Okay, <laughs> I saw a box out there, I'm like, that's kind of small. That was the compact I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just want to make sure I don't do the wrong thing. You got it. Um, oh, these white cases look cool. It, it, it gets dirty easily, but I have a white case at home, I enjoy it. Mm. How big is your, your desktop? <laughs> I love this, yeah. Hmm. But my, my should supposed to be fits in that. Wow, that's that's really compact. Uh, yeah, that's what I want because you know, I, I, stuff is on the floor. Yeah, it's just right. on the floor. I, it's annoying. Awesome. Got, okay, I want to take a look and verify. Uh, this is the um, black TG dark tint, mm -hmm. the Mesh Phi Two. Yep. And it's the S twenty two R, which was the SKU that I believe we verified. Yeah. All right, that guy's right here. We've got the. S22R for the dark tinted. Got it. Cool. Awesome. Alright, so we've got motherboard, we've got a case. Yep. Oh, it's a solid panel? It's a solid panel. <laughs> What's that? Uh, oh, no, okay. The uh, solid panel. <laughs> oh, the solid panel? Uh, 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 no. I don't care about cool. my RGB. I, I bought my stuff because when I need it, it just have to come with RGB. I, wait a minute, uh, online, I need it now. Mm -hmm. So delivery took two for forever, so I just need it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, on this side, I saw the um, the SSD. Okay. Yeah. That's why this will be right here. Yep, the 990 Pro. Uh, the two terabyte. Um. Okay. Yeah. You can totally do that. Yeah, that's just a As your point. friend. Okay. Yeah. No. I was I, gonna say, as your friend mentioned, the uh, I, I they're blistering me. fast speeds, and the premium that you're paying is sixty dollars versus like um. Oh, well, this. shoot, a 980s. So I have sixty, sixty dollars for that, and I, I cannot. It's too fast for me right now, right? Yeah. And I don't store. Well, see, you don't store stuff on it. You don't write on it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't uh, decay. So it's still. Gonna I'm keep using a, a P3, and before that, my my boot drive was a P1 from way back in the day, and it's still like blistering fast. But you, you can do what you want, but you know. You, you do have a buddy here that was mentioning it earlier, so I thought I'd bring so, it up. You can go with something like this. It's still going to be. It's barely slower. It's 7,000 versus 7,400. Oh. And it's uh, a price difference of about, what we, like 40 bucks? Hmm. Uh, 50, 40, yeah. 50, yeah. So I, it'll be hard for me to tell, like, the speed difference. You, you yeah. can't. Okay. You, yeah. It the, the, the won't show. Hmm. Uh, loading into a game, uh, like I said, some of the bigger games that you load in when they were comparing different times, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, GTA, it took, you know, this one took. 25 seconds this one took 24.7 seconds like it's something it might even be 23 seconds but it's so little that you're not gonna Some, notice. sometimes even that you can't even tell a difference because sometimes the game yeah need that much time especially if to, it's like online load. stuff yeah so even you have a faster one it won't because this the program run. right and for the most part it's still this stuff transfers so much faster than like cpus and the GPUs when they're trying to play a game because your big, big bad CPU is only going to run four cores when it's gaming, mm -hmm. so it can only still do so much. But at this point, you only need faster when you run virtual machine that you need more cars. Mm -hmm. but yeah, or so. if you're going to go machine to machine and stuff, then it yeah. kind of makes sense yeah. to have really really fast stuff like that. But this is your world. I'm just helping yep, you build yep. it. Hmm. So you let me know what you want, and I'll happily help you yeah. out. If that's the case, I'll just stick with the 980 Pro then. Yeah. I suggest that too. Cool. Uh, I know that they fixed it, and it was a while ago, but the 990s did have an issue back in the day too. I don't know if you heard about those. The 980 is new. The, nine, the 990s. It's new, new, right? Yeah, it's new, but like when they first came out, they were having issues with uh, the drives killing themselves. Oh, I know about that. I, yeah. I didn't know it out. So I, I've been told that it's been completely fixed. I was still a little scared of it because mm. they were turning into read-only mode, and if that happened... You're done. So uh, Samsung yeah. put out a, uh, a driver update for them. And it's like nobody knows how to update their drivers on M.2s. But you can fix it before it does that. But if it does it before you update it, then you're, you're done. Then you will need a re 
uh, just be reader that plug that thing in, and then you have to update from there. I guess, yeah. yeah. And um, so it was just pretty much like, people were pretty upset, because that's when they first came out, and Samsung is the best, which is why they get the most heat when something happens. Hmm. WD messes up every now and then. It's understandable. They're Western Digital. Crucial's surprisingly good for their weight class, but uh, Samsung is premium. See, yeah. these are the ones you should understand. 970 to 980. Yeah. Look, look, look at the speed. Oh, 3,500 to 7,000. Yeah. So that's PCIe 3, PCIe 4. Got it. And I, think, I think that's still 4. That might still be 4, yeah. yeah Even Samsung wouldn't know what to do with this it. This might be 5. Yeah, this is... Oh, that's PlayStation 5, it's saying. Uh, no, it's still Gen 4. It says right there, Gen yeah. 4, and it's doing 73. Well, that's actually slower than that one, yeah. So, duh. <laughs> nice. So, I, the number was bigger, so it made me impressed. <laughs> <laughs> they just wrote it bigger. Yeah. All right, so you still need a CPU, RAM. Yes. Um, so, yes. CPU's on that side. Did you want mm. hard drives at all? Um, yeah, something to store. Or oh, you can just transfer your old stuff over. Yeah, Got it. It's, when you don't have it as a boot drive, mm -hmm. hard drives actually do run decently speed. Yeah. And you're not going to be running games on it. You're pretty much just going to be like on storing, yeah, uh, big I'll videos after you. Yeah, yeah, you can store some games on there. I wouldn't store multiplayer games because your friends will hate you. Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend that would put his, like, Phasmophobia we'd play, and he'd put it on his hard drive, and we'd be in the truck running back and forth waiting for him to load in because it takes us three seconds to load in, it takes him 15 seconds to load I in. I play League of Legends, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, League of Legends can play on a potato. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very easy game to play. Yeah. You have a decent GP, or, yeah, GPU and you're playing mm -hmm. at like 800 frames. <laughs> would, would, that, would that be able to, I could use that as like my boot drive? Or? Oh yeah. No, that, okay. This is your boot drive. Okay, yes. This is your okay. boot drive. And the storage would be like these. Well, this will still be your storage for the most part because it's huge. Because mm -hmm. you do games and stuff. Yeah. Uh, but if Adobe. I need you export, right? For like a couple of gig, let's go on these. Okay. Or anything yeah. that like you want, but you're not gonna access like ever, like pictures and memories and stuff that yeah. like, oh, you might look back once a year or something, or just save as time goes on. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kind of like pack, like how like we are pack rats, that. like, oh yeah. yeah, but what if I need this again? That's what hard drives are for. You just store it all on the hard drives and they're more secure too. Because if a hard drive fails, which they don't fail as often, um, they can still be recovered. Well, this is all just flash memory, so you shouldn't store anything too valuable on them. Yeah. Um, they do last well. Don't get that r twisted, but um, there is a, a possibility that it could mess up, and it saved electrons. So it's if it messes up, we can't get the memory out of it. This is all written on a disk. If it doesn't know how to find it, we can use a different device to read the disk still. So that's the kind of benefits of having a hard drive. More like analog. Yes. There you go. Hmm. This is like carving it into the tombs. <laughs> yeah. This is like all digital. Got it. Hmm. I think four, a four terabyte might be good for like... Uh, look at the price. Yeah, yeah, there's usually like a depreciating or a diminishing return. So you can kind of tell what that sweet spot is. Like two terabytes might be an okay deal, but then double the storage might be only 20 bucks more or something like that. Oh, yeah. I have to look. Yeah. There's usually... Oh, sorry. You good. Um, right here, too, kind of breaks down what kind of, because we have a lot of different ones. We have some people that want to do a lot of servers. Mm -hmm. This is for surveillance. This is just the, the highest quality, best one you could possibly get. Oh, I think that might be that one as well. This one is for personal use, and this one's for personal use. This is the high-end personal use. This is the basic personal use. You'd likely need blue. Uh, and you can do a blue 7200 RPM, so it is still faster. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just blues typically your consumer. Down spend, that's all. Because you can do six terabytes for like. Exactly. So six terabytes for 105 or four terabytes for 72. Oh, like a, yeah, 72. But see, so that's what I'm talking Like a three terabyte is 70, four terabytes 73. Right. Oh, so there's yeah. no point in buying a three terabytes. Right. This, this, is, this is your area to look. That's yeah. It. This, this, this row. That's Got it. it. This row's for consumers. Yeah. This row's for servers and that row's for Which surveillance for cameras. Yeah. Hmm. So, $30 difference with a two extra one. Two, yeah. Mm. Yeah, 30 bucks for two, that, but even that jump is $3 difference for one terabyte jump. Mm. So, it just really depends what you're going to put on it. The, if, oh, I forgot to get him the power supplies. Oh, we'll still get all that. That's yeah. further down. We'll and we, we, got a, uh, we have to get him a cooler still uh, as well. I think I get an AI also for before. Yeah, 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 we have AI was here if you want to take a look. If you have an account with us, there are little discounts that you will get off. Like we get um, 
they might have like five dollars off of something and stuff like that and it might as well it's also how we'll store your purchases so if you ever don't have your receipt and you need to return something we can just look your name up and we can see it's there so there's a benefit and if you spend over a thousand dollars you get one percent back um which you're going to be spending over a thousand dollars so you'll start getting points back you should yeah you so look like you're spending about three thousand it, it costs mm. nothing to make an account cool. it's just a uh, email and phone number got it but anyways so yeah cool all right yeah let's do the four I, I believe it's like after the, sale. the thirty dollar difference <laughs> okay fine let's get the six <laughs> everybody's different i you're going to be doing videos and stuff if you're doing high res videos yeah. and you want to store them somewhere it might make sense to have more memory yeah wait yeah, i have your, one your camera's an 8k camera right yeah so might as well oh, all, right, let's do, all right let's do this oh, okay, get a six. Sorry. oh yeah, yeah. I, I read six gigabytes six terabytes there we go sweet cool good save <laughs> Yeah, your, your camera's an AK, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. it's a time to explore. Jesus. For that sure. Is, that is a lot of uh, data. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, it's not Megan Smith. After you. I, but I, I, that I, one does have RGB though too, so that is kind of cool. If you wanted to, to go with RGB. RGB. Yeah. Oh, the one with the 48 at the back? Yeah. And that comes with two sticks, right? Uh, yes. Should yeah, it's two 24 gigabyte sticks. I, don't, I haven't heard a car single slot 48 gig. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Hmm. Well, even 24 gig sticks are kind of weird. That's a DDR5 <laughs> that, thing. Yeah, that's DDR5. Thing. That's why the traditional would be like 32s. So getting two 32s to get you to 64 gigs, that would uh, potentially help with video editing. Yeah. But 60, 48 still a lot too. That's that's what your buddy was saying. Like that's it's true. 48 is probably going to be okay. 64 might be a little bit overkill. It's just a weird thing. It's a that's a weird number. That it we is a seen. weird number. Yeah. And yeah. previously on computers, we like to keep them like uh, whole, like div uh, divisible by eight. Well, it's, I guess that one's still, still, still is. It still is. Yeah, but <laughs> it's just you would think that somebody had three sticks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because just. that's typically what it'd be. It would be like. Uh, 16, 32, 48, oh, and they didn't have the, the it third would, 16 like, It would be weird for a computer to read it. But the thing is, these these, these guys know it. Yeah. These guys know what they have. Yeah, yeah, and DDR5 so be five. different now than DDR4 was. I think it'll be okay. Cool. All right, let's do the, uh, and then, and since that's only two sticks, and this can fit four sticks, right? Then I could just keep, it. in the future, if I wanted another stick, exactly. I could do that. Yeah. Okay. The that's the smart way to do it. Some mm -hmm. people think like, oh, now I can buy four sticks. Mm -hmm. You really shouldn't be maxing it out from the day you get it. Just buy bigger RAM because you'll run into that issue quick. If you bought like 16 gigs, immediately you want to upgrade. It's like, oh, I can only get a 32 now. Like, yeah, just buy better at the start. So I, I agree with you. Um, but then you are going to probably want to keep building. Typically, people like to keep the same size sticks because that's different size sticks can cause not necessarily stability, but like um, it can slow it down sometimes because it doesn't understand like, oh, this one's got 16, this one's got 16, this one's got 8. Like that can trip it up at times. Hmm. So if you try to expand in the future, DDR5 might be different, but you're probably going to want to keep with the uh, match 24 the gigs. Match all the settings. Yes. You buy yeah. That's what I mean to say. Sorry. Match the settings. Got that's it. an easy way of saying it. Um, let me go get the keys for this guy. Mm -hmm. Which one? Probably, uh, I mean, I would turn it off, but I'll should be you and worry you. But yeah, I do that for money. Yeah. It's annoying. But with video editing, you should, you'll, you'll be on top of your game. With a 48? Like, no. It's, it's, yep. With a 48, you should be fine, and you can still have Chrome tabs open mm -hmm. right, and running. Because I know Chrome's still taking a bunch of like, memory. What they've been claiming, oh, we're not anymore, but they should do. I'm so, sure. yeah. um, we're looking at this one. You guys want to look any more? You get happy with this? Uh, I think that should be good. And then inside's of two sticks, right? right? Yep. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Just like that, and you can see their uh, timing. So if you buy more, you don't necessarily just want 7,000 megahertz. You also want it to be a 40, 52, 52, 140, or 114. Well, it, they, they have two pair slot. So each, each pair slot is matching each other. You should be fine. Yeah. And um, so when you look at the card you buy, especially you buy the two of the same, mm -hmm. or, or you have to buy two different ones to say price something, make sure all the settings can match. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. on the box, it'll advertise the speed. The speed's great, but that doesn't really tell a story. It just kind of is a, the advertising. People started buying for the speed numbers, mm -hmm. so they started marketing it for the speed numbers. But what's actually important is the timings. You want the groups to be tighter because that has to do with how how fast it can get through a read is how fast it can process. So uh, these 48, 52, 52, that's the number you're talking about. Yes, that's okay. the timing. That's so the if timing. you want to expand later, try mm -hmm. to get something that matches that. If you okay. want to understand a bit more, uh, let us text it. Yes. Got it. He's good. Um, I like hardware unboxed. Hardware unboxed. And uh, Gamer's Nexus. He goes a little too far in depth. But he does have good stuff, and he's a really smart guy. Yeah, just, just leave it in the background. You, yeah. You listen to um, Hardware Unboxed, and you'll feel, or not Hardware Unboxed, you listen to Gamer's Nexus, and you'll feel dumb. Mm -hmm. Maybe not you. Are you, guys, are you both engineers? Uh, civil, so. Civil oh, okay. software. So, um, he might not feel dumb, but since it's oh, not I, your I felt dumb, but field, for sure. he'll be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I watched a year of video before I did my first computer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I had a lot of interest in it, so I was watching a lot of videos, and then I started building as well. Nice. Um, okay, so we need, we need a cooler still. Cooler, which means come with thermal paste and fans. Yes. yes. 
Yeah, but a lot of these do come in the thermal paint. Should you miss this you go? Oh, you said you drove with you? I drove her, so. Oh, so what time you have to go? Uh, you no one asked stuff. Yeah, I mean. You, 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 oh no, we're good. Okay, I, it's I, just say, a, I can speed you guys through it if you need. Oh no, it's because I, I, you guys close at six, right? Like, yeah, but if you guys leave at six ten, that's like not a big deal. Okay. Like if we're in the middle of something, if you're starting your build at five fifty nine, okay. You want to go home, but <laughs> yeah, I don't mind staying a little late. All right, thank um, you. But I do appreciate you guys wanting to hit that time. So, you were looking at the one fifteen I. Oh yeah, let, let me pull. pull that out. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, we have multiple brands. If you decide that Corsair isn't your uh, end-all, be-all, yeah, the uh, this one, 150i. Uh, so that's these guys down here. We only have them in white. Uh, it's in the. If wait. that's okay. And then this one right here specifically is an open box, so you everything care? should be in it, and you'll get 10% mm -hmm. off of it. Got it. And we, and we can inspect it because it's open box already. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, so, yeah. yeah. Take, a, take a look at this. So mm -hmm. we'll take a look. So now you can. For me, I don't know why I get there. Yeah. The downside yet to white is uh, it'll start to yellow after a long time because it's uh, not getting sunlight. Because it's sitting inside of a house, you don't want it to get sunlight. But mm. yeah, so. Um, it is tinted too. <laughs> Not so fair. It has a little bit of pre-applied, I think, right there, and the case is still covering it. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it comes with a syringe of extra. Thermal so if paste? you wanted to get more thermal paste, you always can. They should be fine, but it just has to do with. Have, have you built a couple? Yeah, I built. Do you usually use the pre-applied, or do you usually get different? Uh, paste? I, I I do different though. I yeah. typically do different as well, just because I don't trust the pre-applied. I, I just bought one instead of sitting in my car. You can have mine. You know? Oh, Got it. perfect. Okay. Yeah. I, I try to go to jobs too. Like, yeah. Use, uh, mainly with this computer, but the guys have been lazy. <laughs> yeah, I was, I'm not, definitely not trying to sell you more stuff. I just want to make sure you have a, a better experience. Got when it. I first got my build, and I built it with the AMD stock cooler. Um, <laughs> What's the fun? Yeah, well, even when I changed motherboards, because I had an issue with one of my motherboards because mm -hmm. I was dumb. Anyways, um... I got new thermal paste and I, I saw the cooling get like five degrees colder. And I was like, wow, either my last one was garbage thermal paste or it was kind of dry because it was pre-applied. Um, and that does happen at times. I've had other people say they've done it and no, no change for them. So maybe it's just for me, but, but that's still kind of something that I live by. I think fresh thermal paste, he's got some, use it. Yeah, awesome. I just bought it yesterday. Clean it's still in my car, so that's in the body yesterday, but yeah, it should be fine. You can also look when you take the cap off. If it still looks wet, it might be okay, mm -hmm. but otherwise, clean it off. Right now, put it fresh. Don't do liquid cooler. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's got your back. Cool. All right. Um, oh, he, he built it himself. I'm, I'm just helping. Pick yeah, apart. of course. You're supervising. Cool. And this is the only. Supply. This was the only one you have on for open box. Okay. If you want, um, so that's gonna get you 10 percent off. Yeah. But if you wanted another one, oh, man, I just had to move all this stuff the other day, and it doesn't have the price tag on it. I can go get a price check. Oh wait, okay. 115? No, 150, it's different. Sorry, let me go get you a price check. It's a bit loud, but I don't think you care. Yeah, it is. Is Amarok gonna see you? Huh? Corsair is garbage? What? <laughs> no. What? No. Is Amarok says Corsair is garbage? What? But I use Corsair. It works, it works. Yeah. I I'll say this, the fan, I will swap them out, but yeah. these are two twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, and so ten percent off would be like uh, it would be twenty bucks. Two two, twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents off. So hmm. about twenty three bucks off. Got it. So uh, that so would put it under the. Uh, I'm trying to do all this math in my head. I'm not an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that would put it right under two hundred ninety seven. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. If you go with that one, I don't know what it was priced online. You can compare. Again, I, like I said, I'm a human, I understand. Mm -hmm. I always am comparing prices. Wait, that's $200. Yeah. If so, you... Oh, actually, right, the photo, so... Yeah, check it out, does it show? Let's see, so it's the, um, the, so the second row, 338. 338. Okay. Okay, so that is way too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see one more time? I wanna make sure it's the right one that we're getting here. Elite, yeah, it's a 360, the 75 CFM liquid. Does that say that anywhere on here? I mean, it's the H one 
50i Elite. Mm -hmm. Is it the Capellix? Yeah, Capellix. XT? Uh, doesn't have an XT on that, but 75 CSN. Okay. I'm trying to see, maybe it says that on the back here. Um, so that's a regular Capellix? Hmm. I'm not seeing it on here, but that price might also be really, really high because it's not pulling on a. If it's not pulling on like a reputable site, it might be pulling it off eBay, and it could be a secondhand <laughs> user trying to scam people. Uh, or yeah, or like Amazon. Or Amazon, yeah. yeah. What, what, what so, it? Uh, so uh, I think it. This should be a pretty good price. Hmm. Especially if somebody's trying to sell it for three thirty. Yeah. I'll just pull this it up one. on Amazon. H. One fifty I. Oh yeah, they have. They're selling for two twenty. So Got we sell them for ten bucks more, but then you're getting twenty bucks off for an open box. Got it. Um, what's this one actually? Oh, this is renewed. So this one's remanufactured. You get them for one sixty. If you want to buy a, uh... wait a second. Does this one have? Oh no, it's just that color stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is two twenty two. I'm looking. That's my. I th hmm. think. Amazon. Yeah, this one that was yeah, one sixty for the renewed one. Mm -hmm might have been the older edition as well because it's it's not the complex xt you know that's a that are you trying to build it tonight oh no just like throughout the next few days so oh, this one do overnight but yeah. overnight oh wow uh, is that one uh renewed yeah. or is it brand oh okay. yeah so that one that's the one that we just saw so it's 10 yeah. bucks cheaper on amazon right now yeah but with the uh is it on sale is, yeah, thirty five dollars off because of a coupon. Yeah, and it's it. overnight. Oh, um, delivery too. But this one's cheaper because it's open box. If mm. you prefer it sealed yeah. from Amazon, then there you go. Um, I, I don't, won't hate you for There's, it. It's no, totally no, cool. it's open, yeah, yeah. Hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll just go to Amazon then. So okay. yeah. No worries at all. Yeah, just to make sure I can seal. You know, everything's like sealed fresh. Yeah. Well, like we. At least with having that open box, you're able to see what it looks like too. Yeah, for sure. So that was still a benefit of being here. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This one look. EK, they just started doing uh, oh, their it's AIOs. EK. Yeah. Yeah, it's EK. Oh. Yeah, this is like their second generation of AIOs. Oh. They're pretty cool, actually. No, no, no. EK is pretty, pretty well known for for the block. Yeah, the, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So this is an AIO. They just started doing these not too long ago. I have one in my case actually. I came here before I worked here. And I bought an Arctic, but it didn't fit in my case. So then I bought an EK, and it also didn't fit in my case. But I got a, the moral of the story is I got a new case, and I kept my EK cooler, and I like it, just because they're they're cool. But like everybody knows EK, EK is real quality. They just haven't really proven themselves with AIOs yet because they're new. No RGB. Mm. <laughs> and that one's no RGB. Those ones are RGB. We might have that one's a black with RGB. Um, we just got a bunch of different EKs in. We haven't been able to get all of them out yet. But we might even have the black RGB ones if that was something you're interested in. Yeah. But anyways, um, awesome. Well, the power brand, supply. By brand alone, I would recommend that. But yes, that's exactly why I went with it. They're really good quality stuff. Oh yeah, here's the. Oh. Some wow. more of it, I guess. Yeah, I guess they only have white RGB. Hmm. No black RGB. Actually, I do recommend the EK. The EK. I, think, yeah. I, think, yeah. I like them honestly. And these are like some, even the box is so beefy. And when you open it up, it's so premium inside. Mm -hmm. Like I said, EK, they've only been around for like, for AIOs, for like two gens. Yeah, but they've but been they, building uh, cool for, for yes. a long time. The people that do EK, the, the custom loop stuff, are people with like 49. And these usually like, they, were, they were private too. Uh, oh, they were? Before, they, 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 they are like not under anyone's radar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. So the uh, the difference with this one and the other one that we saw like back there, like mm. what would be the difference? Like uh, that was a 360. Yeah. And this is a 240. So oh, the three fan one more fan. Two fan. That's it. Oh, okay. For, for every 120 is one fan. Can't think yeah, of you might want the 360 if your case can support it, which I think it can because you're running an i9. Yeah. So you're I using the best anyway. processor. You might want the best cooler. Okay. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. So, uh, um, and uh, we can see what the prices are on those. Yeah. Right here. So the, does the EK have like a three fan one? Oh, is this one then, right? Those ones are right there. Like the, the three yeah, fan Yeah, so ones. there's a three fan if you go with the white case. Um, didn't you have something else that was, oh, we were looking at that other cooler. That was white. And then here's um, the last of our lap stock and that one's. Oh, it's just a black one? Yeah, just a black one. 
These don't have a tag though, so I'm gonna have to get a price on these. Dude, I swear I could. Ooh. You recommend the EK? I, I do. I guess. Stop brand the Moen. Okay. I have no idea. What, that's because so then I'll just switch coolers to like one I of these then. Hmm? I'll, just, I'll just switch over to an EK cooler. Yeah. So if you like that one, that one's got a price on it. Otherwise, I can get a price check on this one. Or if you want a price check, so you can compare. Right. Well, Wait, it's different color, right? Yeah. This one is. That one's black. This one's white. Yeah. I like the black. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the black one. I don't blame you. Ugh. Then RGB can be turned off, right? Like, yeah. If you're not yeah. interested. If in you RGB, don't want RGBs that though, oh, that okay. one, and it's a little bit cheaper. It's only 160 for that one. No, this one is. The Wait a second. Lady. Is that for the 240? Or, yeah, 360. Yeah, and that's for 240. So it's 160 for the 360 fan. So you save. So you save money by not bucks. having RGBs. Got it. So, so the only difference is just the RGB then? And then yes, and yeah. I believe this is our newer batch, so this yeah. is like potentially a newer generation, but I'm sure they're the same quality. Got it. Yeah. You know okay. they have to do refreshes every now and then. Yeah. Okay, no but RGB. This one I literally got in uh, yesterday. Sweet. So that doesn't mean it came out yesterday. It's my no, 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 no. A month it's ago, but like we just got ago. it. Yeah. 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 It's a bit of a okay. premium yeah. feel. Are you trying to find where they go? Cool. So oh, 360. It's on the bottom here. left. It's just face. EK Nucleus. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You got me there. Cool. Alrighty. All right. All right. Cool. Can you slide that guy right there? You got plenty of space. Wow. Cool. Thanks for being here, Trevor. That's exactly what happened to me, too. Like, I was looking at Arctic and stuff, and I was like, EK makes them. And I was like, huh. Oh. And I went EK just because. How much power do you you said 4080? Okay, should we grab a look at our graphic card first? So, yeah. 4080, 16 gig, with an i9, suggests at least 850 watts of power. Yeah. You can go higher, obviously. Yep. Um, the re usually that's the recommended table that, uh, like, Oops. yeah, that NVIDIA releases, and they get themselves a little bit of overhead, but even still, people would like to usually um, overdo that as well, mm -hmm. and be like, oh, I want 1,000 watts. Yeah, I, I was planning. I was trying to go to for 1,000. Okay, yeah. well, let's see what we have. Yeah, especially with the 1,000 watt, if you were to go Corsair, 1,000 watt being not much more than an 850. 190 versus 150, okay. Yeah. So that looks like a pretty sweet, that is 1,000 watts, yeah. Um, with the, geez, so there's all this new stuff too with the, uh, the power supplies. Making sure that they support. This is for me. Is it for me? No, it's still oh. full modular, but it is a little bit shorter. It shows you the dimensions on the back. All of the mini stuff is on this back wall. Yeah, and then I think the i9 was it like the price is like five seventy on this. I think that sounds about right. Yeah. Cool. Um, so this one is one hundred eighty millimeters. It's a little bit bigger. Has a 140 fan in it, so hopefully runs quieter. Oh, it's fit his case. Yeah. Mm. Hey, yeah. Should be. I would imagine his face case will fit everything, but on the case specs, we do say how big it can fit to. Yeah. So we can look at that sheet before deciding. Yeah. Oh. No, cool. Yeah. A picture of it. Yeah. Uh, we also have Seasonic and EVGA in that corner, but. Being like kind of the center, the top. Cool. All right. So far, so good. Zamorak, thirty-two thread. Um, this one, I th you can fit two hundred and fifty. Which two the reason it's so big is because all your excess cable also get tucked back there. Got it. So um, you can fit this guy, and I think because it's a bigger design than some of these ones that fit in smaller cases, that's probably why it's cheaper as well. What do you mean by like a 250? So two, the size. Yeah, so this is what we're referring to on the back here. It measures it out. This is a 180. Oh, okay. Well, this guy right here is a 160. A lot of the smaller cases that are like micro ATX will still fit ATX size PSUs, but only up to 160 maybe, hmm. sometimes 150. So you have to be careful. Now, if you get a micro ATX, then you have to get these really small guys. And these ones are like... 125. Wow. Yeah. So um, you'll get a lot of times like less performance for more money. 
when you because you're getting it more compact. Right. Um, as far as brands go for power supplies, Corsair is very um, respected. When tested, they also sustain very well. They're not very loud. They last a really long time. EVGA is another one that does pretty good. Seasonic actually is the um, the builder for a lot of them too. So like. Corsair doesn't make power supply units. They buy power supply unit components from, say, Seasonic, and they put them all together, and they add their premium fans and all this other stuff. So Seasonic is also another really good brand that you're not as well hurt. Like, you don't hear of them as much, and they do cost more because they are premium, and only the people who know know type thing. Hmm. I'm not saying you need one. I'm just saying that's those are good brands. The ATX3 which is the PCIe 5.0. Mm -hmm. um, that's like the new stuff that you want to make sure your stuff is rated for if you're going to be getting the 4000 series. If you give me a second, I can ask one of my uh, coworkers and see if they know a little bit better. Okay. Because I don't want you guys to have the wrong one. Hmm. So, so Sonic, they actually, like you said before, they only make components, but they actually start making their own. Yeah. Uh, like, three, four years back? Yeah. That's probably even longer, but they're the one to go for. These don't. Hmm. These don't because we don't really need them yet. Because 1300 watts. It's still like a tower by itself. Yeah. That's it. It looks big, too. Yeah. So the, let's see what I got here. Our, well, that's a you build very big PC. Mm -hmm. that, that, you know that there's some people that they can build two PC in one case. Really? Yeah. Wow. And no, that's why they need that 1300 to split the power. Hmm. It's probably even higher. Cool. So this is the one I had on my list, the RM1000X. So, mm -hmm. just found out. Mm -hmm. So um, these ones will work, but they don't regulate the power. Like the, P the ATX3, mm -hmm. the GPU can tell it exactly how much it sends, so it like regulates better. Um, and then it also comes with a specific cable that can run direct cables. This will still work um, if you have to make it work. But again, AC is a DC. No, it's the ATX 3.0. This is the new certification for the 40 series cards. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I'm glad you don't have a 4090 because I don't like dealing with that stuff. But the 4080 does it too. Oh yeah. Because it's right there with it, which is probably why they're more expensive as well because they have that regulating um, system to them, I guess. This can work. I would recommend this to somebody who isn't building a Z790 with an i9. I think your build is so robust, the last thing you want to cut a corner on is power supply. Yeah. You don't want to cut that. The no. power supply is the only thing you don't want to cut corner. Exactly. So you usually want like a thousand, yes, but now there's more technology involved. Yeah. So. Uh, you want to get one that's ATX 3.0, which is the 1200, like that one is. This one is as well, this is. but this one's cheap. The 1200 is cheaper than the 1000 right now because of a sale. That one is as well, yeah, and $10 cheaper. Hmm. Well, $15 cheaper. There you go, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a Seasonic, too. This is a gold rating, that's a gold rating. That's a platinum rating, so that's probably why that one's more expensive. Um, gold is fine. It just has to do with efficiencies in the sense of how much power it'll pull from the wall. Uh, it will always put out a thousand watts. All of them are rated for that, but it will be pulling um, from the wall. It'll be losing more power through transfer. Is all that means. It's gold is used to be like the the best. Now it's kind of more of the standard. Uh, you shouldn't buy anything less than gold. Yeah. Don't, Unless don't you're making a really budget it. build. But yeah, platinum is the new version of like the premium. So if you wanted platinum, but also this is going to be good. I'm not pushing you towards platinum. Um, I'm just letting you know there is such a thing as platinum. I don't think you're cutting a corner by going with gold. But if you do want platinum, there is platinum. Yeah. So the, the, this one's the gold, right? That one's a gold as well. This one's a platinum. Yeah. So as you can see, this one's usually 269. This one's 200 watts less, but it's also 260. So why would you get 200 watts less? Because it has better components inside of it mm -hmm. that, that lose, uh, it, it's more efficient. There's less energy loss to heat, which mm -hmm. is how energy is lost, obviously, but there's less energy loss to the transfer. Yeah. 
And how much is this one? Uh, two thirty-five because it's on sale. Two thirty-four ninety-nine. So just it being on sale is also a pretty sweet hookup. Right. Holy and like we were talking about, see, Sonic's a great brand. I'm not going to say if they're not. They totally are. I have one in my case. Just saying. Got it. Hmm. That was and this the is time. the. Oh wait, this is a gold. This is a gold. Yes. Got it. That was the time that I hmm. chipped out my uh, power supplies, and it dies sometimes, and I have to jump it. I do not recommend doing that. That you have to get uh, a copper wire or a metal wire to it. jump the cable. Hmm. Why did you jump it? It it keep dying out on me for, for no reason. So the danger with that is, is since these guys are in charge of sending power to your motherboard, if it sends too much power or it doesn't cut out properly, it'll fry your motherboard. Well, that's bad because that's expensive, and anything yeah, touching your what? motherboard can be affected by it. Yeah, that could be your GPU, that could be your CPU. That's just, not just warranty. Your hand touching it could kill your motherboard. Actually, yeah. Yeah. That's why you well, discharge. Nowadays, control. nowadays, uh, not so much because they they built them so that they can withstand a little bit of static charge. Hmm. And like, I don't remember how it is. Some like little capacitors on the board that can take charge while it's static, meaning like not um, taking any plugs into it. But back in the day, he's a hundred percent right. Not even that long ago. We're talking like five years ago. Five years ago, you yeah. could probably still be shorting out boards accidentally by rubbing your feet on the because carpet, and you go, "Oh, my, my motherboard died." Just like that, like yeah. yeah. wow. My, my first AMD motherboard died. Yeah. But they've uh, like uh, Jay's two cents. I don't know if you watched him back in the day. He did one video where he had one of his employees keep like stacking his feet and doing it to the motherboard's uh, um, USB mm -hmm. to see if he could burn out the USB, and they weren't able to burn him out because they oh that's like four years ago yeah yeah that was a couple years ago and um maybe like two honestly it yeah. could have been four they was uh ltt they did it with um ram too oh yeah yeah that was fun yeah so um they've built them better now we're just kind of reminiscing right now it doesn't really have much to do with <laughs> yeah, yeah the, we're just having fun cool. we build computers it's a good time it is so, right. so right now in this area yeah. it's those two so this is the platinum, and this is more like if energy efficiency? It's more energy efficient, yeah. Got it. There's less, um, if you look up what those ratings mean, 80 means that it was 80% efficient, 80 bronze meant it was like 82% efficient, mm -hmm. then there was silver, then there was gold, and gold is like 85, platinum is like 87 or something. The highest is titanium, I think, and those ones aren't quite as common, and that one's like 98% efficient. So then platinum's above gold then, right? Yeah, they okay. have platinum above gold. Cool. Yeah, I think. You want to go platinum? Yeah, let's do this All one. Right. Good oh, stuff. What's the plus? What's what? The plus. Plus, pretty much nothing. 80 plus is just a certification. See how all of them? 80 plus gold. Oh. 80 plus platinum. Oh, so, 80 what, plus what, is the rating. It's 80 plus. Is this it's just 80 plus. Ooh. That's the bare metal. Oh, does it say right there, actually? No. No, it doesn't. There are sometimes they'll have graphs on them to explain how the efficiencies work, so that you can see. Good. Yeah. Uh, here's 80 plus efficiency. Now nah, that's a graph. Right. It's not really a thing. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, Sorry. oh no worries. No, no no. I just look at my notification. Yeah, we really appreciate your help. Yeah, no worries, man. This is my favorite part of the job, honestly. Yeah. yeah you got the thermal paste. You got the motherboard. Mm -hmm. You got the CPU. You got the cooler. You have the RAM. You have the storage. You have more storage um, here. Yeah. Actually, case fans? Does your case come with fans? I, yeah, on like the back or something, and maybe one in the front. And you're going to have a radiator, so that's going to take up some space too. I do not recommend going with soft fans. <laughs> I, I look at those soft tools and I'm cool. like drooling right now. Fans are uh, something you can upgrade later mm -hmm. pretty easily. Um, but, but not, you not after everybody. you do cable management. Stuff. Oh, that's true too. You need three 140, right? Uh, three to replace. To replace the one on the front and the top. They're 140s? They're 140s, apparently. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Cool. To replace the one on the front and the top. See. Wait, are we trying it? Like. You, you want to do that or not? You want to replace a stock fan or not? Oh, no, no. I'll just use a stock fan as is. All right. Uh, just. You might be noisy when, when you do your stuff. That's all. Okay. And that's, that's not a. It that's might case. be okay. It might be noisy. Uh, the thing, too, is when you buy a case from like Corsair. They will use their cheaper fan, but Corsair still makes good fans. Mm -hmm. You buy a case from Be Quiet that has their silent wings, which are already nice fans. Fractal, Fractal should be okay. I don't know that they really yeah. make fans. If it ends up being loud, take it apart, and that's, that's the risk mm -hmm. you run, and it's not a dangerous one. You just have to... Because for my room, 
Either my PC or my laptop, you won't hear a noise. Huh. Only my actual fan. Well, his case fans music. are also they're gonna be uh, they're gonna be DC fans. Not gonna be PWMs. So you just set them to a, a standard curve, and if just make it not loud. If the, knows how do it. If the GC, <laughs> you have to run to a I try to have him run to the So replace. Re- you, you go to BIOS and you change it. That's it. Okay. It's easy. You can do it. Yeah. You can and it physically well. replacing the fans, I like, guess, it's, it's like, is that a simple job to do? Or? It is a simple job. It just takes time. Just it's annoying. Just, it's a lot of steps, but it's a simple job. Before, okay. You didn't do cable management yet. Yeah. So Got what it. you'll have to do is you'll have to unplug your computer from the 80 cables you have in it. Yeah. You have to get it up on a table that you can I, work I, I, on. I can go all the hot work you did before. If, so yeah, so. if your cables... What so I would so. do is not bundle your fan cables with your SATA and your motherboard cables. Keep them separate because you're going to be messing with them later. Uh, cut any of the cable ties that you have. To remove them, it's just going to be four Phillips head screws mm-hmm. per fan. Um, if you're a guy that does maintenance, I was a maintainer before this. I've changed so many out, I don't really care. It's not a big deal for me because I did hours of maintenance a day. So spending 20 minutes on this is nothing for me, but it is a little tedious. It's annoying that you have to do it. Once you did it and everything's good, it's like, I gotta do it again. Like, it's just one of those. But if you think that you're gonna be okay, I think you're gonna be okay. Yeah. Hmm. Especially what with maybe OCD, it doesn't help me much. <laughs> you okay. OCD? No. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll see how I do, and then I guess in the future, if yeah, I want exactly. to just get more. But a fans. lot of times, like when it's your own fault, you'll tolerate it more. Mm-hmm. You know. Take the picture it, of that and oh, yeah. save it for your future reference. And you'll have the box too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And you can always look it up online. I, 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 I guess save it. it. You know, keeping the box and pulling cool everything, but over time, you like collecting junks. The yeah. So, like, the motherboard box and all that other stuff, I can understand not keeping that. Keep it for a little bit, just in case there's an issue. You can send it back in the box. Mm-hmm. But the case box is how you're going to transport your PC. So if you move somewhere or you're going to take it, you're going to relocate it, you might not want to just set it in your car and hope it's going to be okay. Yeah. A lot of times what you'll do because you have a big GPU is you'll remove the GPU because that's going to rip right out as soon as you hit a bump because they're so heavy, you know. Yeah. Um, and then you can put it in a box that it came in and then it's safe because it's styrofoam and it fits perfectly yeah. especially if you have to ship it if you oh heaven forbid if you have to ship a pc you definitely gonna want the box it came in um so there's the benefit to having it mm-hmm. i was in the military before this so i just got back from japan so i had to ship my pc so i had the box because i didn't want them to break it yeah if you don't ever foresee it being a problem and you live in a you rent a room or something but yeah maybe break the box down it's not worth the space yeah. hmm. I wrap a graphic card. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's yeah. the last thing, yeah. The funnest part. Sweet. That's the last thing. Yeah. <laughs> Who is supposed to do air cooling again? Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You skip all of that. Oh, thank you. Uh, wiring. Ah. But anyway, that's the last part. Go down. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't have my keys on anymore. Can you watch this stuff? And yeah. Make sure nobody... Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah, they don't sell this. This is very limited. Yeah. They sell it a hundred of these only. Uh, of the card? Yeah. Until us. Wow, how much are these? You can test them out. Wait, you probably have that. Does anyone have this? Have a number on it. They got demos right there. So that one's a lot of the Keytron, and then on the right, I think... That See, that port is weird. Yeah. I don't know what that port's for. Huh. Glorious. These are so weird. <laughs> the same price. Oh, it's because it's Noctua. Okay. So you have right here, this is a uh, PNY, so it's one of the cheaper brands anyways, if you're really trying to get the budget. Also, Zotac sells pretty affordable, cheaper. See right here, the Zotacs are only 1200 bucks. But then, if you go Asus, Asus is expensive for their premium stuff, and they put Noctua's on it, that's collectible. People Ooh. are going to want that for that. Oh, because you probably won't be there. Well, Noctua is known for best efficient, air coolers. efficient, and no, and no and noise. No noise, yeah. They yeah. have some of the best fans, and their air coolers. That's why I try to get you to replace the fan. They, oh. they have a Noctua fan here. We do. And yeah. you can make that upgrade later if you want. Got it. I but, guess, yeah. Um, go ahead. So we have... What's your button for me? I was, I was, yeah, I was expecting like the 1600, so yeah, let's do that one. 
the Noctua? Yeah. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. And I guess the last thing, if we can check out those Noctua fans. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yes. So you want to take a look? It's Ooh. like that. It's just the two fan, but they're pretty thick boys uh, on there. The car is default like that. They, they know for that. The colors. So, yes. So Brown. It, 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 your color bother you, which it shouldn't be because it's facing that. Right. Yeah. But um, at the same time, yeah, the color did bother people for Noctua, but they say too bad. We're the best ones. So you get the color or you get worse fans. Now, more recently, they started coming out with black fans, but for a long time, people had to put up with the brown fans because they wanted the best. Plus, I, my it's kind of like Ferraris, only came in red back in the day. Wow. Yeah, the, the Model T. Yeah. Right? You can have any uh, Henry Ford, so you can have any color you want so long as it's black. <laughs> <laughs> the case, when, when my, when my, you see, when you look at it, there's a bunch of fans that's black and that's one brown. That's that. And yeah. the, the thing is, I, I bought more, which when they come out with the gray, yeah. Yeah, so, they have the Redux now, so some of so them are gray, some of them are black. But for a long time, that's just that's old school Noctua. When God. somebody sees brown like that, they don't ask which it is. They know it's Noctua. Ah. Anybody that tries to use that color would be copying Noctua. <laughs> because it's, that's just it would be like fire. So you, like you, you, you don't feel anything. Just try put your ear on it. Do you, you hear anything? No, I don't. Yeah. This is your default case, fan, but those even uh, fire. Yeah, and this is a Corsair case, so they are already, this is their cheaper fans, but they're still probably about $17. Actually, these are fractal fans. Oh, they are fractals? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is but this they, not they, a Corsair they, case? Is this a fractal case? But uh, It the, is a fractal case. But the uh, fan look upgraded, though. It's an RGB fan, so probably the upgraded. I was reading that, so uh. that's why I thought that. But yeah, no, this is completely an... Fractal. fractal case right here. So you'll probably be fine. Is this? Oh, this is the pop air. I was say, no, probably the uh, it upgraded though. It's probably upgraded. Cool. Maybe, uh, we show on the back everything. Okay, I guess hmm. not. Usually they have the whole invoice on the back. And you can see everything that got upgraded. So right here. Um, oh, this is the same case. That's a Meshify? Yeah, I think so. Fractal design. Oh, pop mini, yeah. oh, that's pop mini. This is the pop mini too. Yeah. So these are the same case, but it looks like they have the stock fans because it's the RGB black. So the fans are RGB in this case, hundred dollar case. So they're pretty good. And the reason also being is you set the speed of them. So if you want them to be quiet, they're quiet. Um, it's just it's really the, a noisy computer is when the GPU kicks on, or the CPU if it's air cooled and they just ramp up and they're like. Whoa. Probably this wall because it's from Intel Arc and they're not really doing hardware work right now. Mm. Yeah, that too. They're not really doing hard work, but these are not PWMs. So if they start doing hard work, they're not going to kick up. Oh. Right? Yeah. They're just set voltage they're, they're, in the they're, they're set, they're set speed too. Uh, yeah. Right. Awesome. And, um, what's nice about setting the speed though too is you can usually control the pressure. Because you want it to be um, a pushing case. If you have intake fans, it'll push air out the little bit of cracks, which is good because if you had more exhaust than intake, mm -hmm. it would have to suck in air from the cracks, and that's how you get dust. So it's a whole different thing. He knows Linus. Got Linus it. did that. So the, the push and pull cases. Yeah. Yeah. A quick, a quick question about the the graphics cards. Yeah. Like it's just because you know they're all forty eighties, but different companies and stuff. So like, what's the main difference with you know when you compare between all branding? Oh yeah, yeah. That's a good question. So uh, some of them come overclocked. The graphic card here. Yeah. Which is kind of like binning again. Like some of them do better than others. So um, these ones here have overclock. The Strix tend to be the best of the best. Uh, you'd be competing a Strix with a Ventus. Oh no, they have another one too. Not the Ventus, but they have a Gaming X Trio, which would be the other best. I think the best one we have right now is probably the RG Strix. They have a lot of RGBs. I can open it up and you can take a look if you'd like. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, and they're a little bit cheaper, but I don't think they're worse. They just are going to have, they don't have Noctua fans. Which, again, that doesn't mean that they're worse. You would hear them kicking. You would hear them kicking. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're worse, but that one is going to be almost collectible because it's like a it's like a limited edition that they started doing. It's oh. a collaboration, so that's what's kind of cool about it. Hmm. But that oh that one is the OC edition too. So that one's overclocked. Oh, and this one's white. Oh wow! This is how cool it can get, man. Yeah. So this one is three small fans. That's two giant fans, hmm. two big boy fans, like full size 120 fans. These are probably not 120s. These are probably like 80 or something like that. Um, you can't go wrong. Both of these are great. Hmm. So this uh, what, is preference. What are the cost speed on that? Good question. They both say they're OC'd. So 
do they advertise it on it, or do we have to pull up the website? It's crazy how much stuff you have to look up online. Um, I think we have to look it up online. Do you Got want it. to Google that one? I'll Google this one. Uh, yeah. Can you Google this one? Yeah. Yeah. We can careful. Let's see. This is the. Uh... Not too RTX uh, 4080. Yeah. Yeah. You. It's probably gonna be ASUS. ASUS Noctua. 4080. Yeah, I suit nothing. And this is going to be RNG Strix. Uh, I'm, I'm drowning. <laughs> you holding it? Mm -hmm. I'm holding it. Yeah. So, pulling up their website. Yeah, it's not going to be This is awesome. I'm upgrading from like a 2015 PC with like a 980 Ti uh, to like this. Okay. So it's been eight years. So it's been. This is great. 95, 95 by base. I um, think I'm almost there. Scrolling through their stupid website. Come on. Come on. Work faster. Oh. Uh, what? Well, yeah. What's, what's your monitor right now? Is it a 1080p monitor? No, oh, it's it like. It, I think it's a 4K monitor. 27 inch. 4K what? It was um. She what was that brand? What, what, what was your brand? I totally forgot. It was uh, LG. LG, yes, the, the LG um, gaming. Um, is it OLED? Uh, no. It's okay, not. so it's the it's the game. I think I was talking about. It's probably the record. <laughs> is it? You bought it for three hundred dollars? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. You need a better one. Oh shoot. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> you need you need an around eight hundred dollar one. Eight hundred to a thousand dollars more. Wait, why? Okay, so here we go. A rated boost clock. I, when I try loading the page, it sucks. But the boost clock's the 2625. Uh, pass it. Oh, this is the same. We'll uh, see more 2625, yeah. So they're both they're Asus both OCs. So, so it's probably in the same lab that they were done. Uh, yeah, they, they, they are the same. So what is probably required quieter than the other one. Yeah, because it's for, two big fans or something. Uh, for $70 difference, i say it's worth The Noctua? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay, I'll stick with this one. Okay. Cool. But that does look nice, these though. Ones, like, yeah, these ones are going to be probably a lot more RGB. Noctua yeah, this, is like that mature look where it's like, uh, I'm not here for the lights. This is like the this look is, at me type this thing. This is, again, Republic of Gamers. Oh, <laughs> gee. They made for gamers. Right. And your buddy does give good advice. These are both great cards. It's At this point, it's aesthetics. So which one is more your look is really what it comes down to. Yep. This mm. one will be fine. It's not uh, Noctua, but it is still very, very good. Hmm. And Noctua is in this case. It's just more efficient for work. I just say that. Potentially, yeah. Because yeah. Noct yeah. Noctua's don't make fans for GPUs. They just started this in the 30 series, and it was a limited partnership with ASUS. So, like so they have two some. Years ago, of them. Yeah. yeah. So they just kind of started this. I think um, it's only, only 4,000 series. Well, I thought they did one with the 3000s. I don't know how you recall that. Okay. And it's probably only last year. Yeah. And it's also like more quiet, right? I have. I can't tell you definitively because I haven't listened to tests. Hmm. You have to. Do that. Ideally, yes, those fans are probably going to be more expensive of fans, hmm. which is why it costs more. But at the same time, this is the best that ASUS can make. The ROG Strix is always their top of the line. So this is the best thing they make, hmm. and this is a collaboration with a company that makes the best fans. So I know that does, sounds kind of the same. Yeah. Kind of is the same. What aesthetic do you want? Do you want white and RGB, or do you want brown? and discrete. That's also only two fans, so it doesn't, it's not as long. You yeah. have a big case, so you can use the full length if you wanted. I'll say this, white on white, doesn't, this looks kind of great. White on white? Yeah, white on white, but by aesthetic, yeah. look great. Yeah, you know what, let's go with this one. <laughs> Are you cool with the black case though? Because I think there were white cases too. Yeah, um, black, white case? Oh. We might have. I can look on the computer and see if we have any more of the white cases, but... Well, we don't want to waste more of it. <laughs> yeah. I think, I mean, a black case with white interiors, I think that still looks pretty nice, right? I think it was. Yeah. Black and white, it's not, yeah. not going to go wrong. But yeah. And with a tinted case. Yin and yang. Yeah. Of course. Everything black and white is perfect. Hmm. Some people like an all-black build, like a, a murdered-out type look. Some yeah. people like all-white build. Okay, so all I right. think we have everything. Cool.